you wish me to answer your question, you must answer mine. <laughs> Very well. I am here, in this reality, to take control of the world. And Alduin is in my way. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, I've returned at last to Skyhaven Temple. Come on. We need to visit with... Hmm. I've forgotten the man's name already, but I know Delphine. Hurry. Delphine and whatever that man's name is. So unimportant. Delphine. What is, what is so important about me being dragonborn? The blades have always guarded and guided the dragonborn. But really? We've forgotten why. Guided? Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the blades, and you're the dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Esburn, that was his name. You're saying that we're the only two. What about him? So this is all the Blades. You and me? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades. Someday. All right, well, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. Where is Esburn? I need to speak with him. Here he is. Out for a stroll, I imagine. Did you say something? Yes. You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. What is so important about me being dragonborn? Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? Only you can finally defeat Alduin and avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what shout the Nord heroes used. You may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. And do you have any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slain dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. All right, I'm going to need that dragon-slaying blessing. May the scales of the dragonkind splinter at the touch of your arrows, and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. Hmm. Oddly enough, I do feel different. That's all. That's all. All right. We need to get back to High Rothgar and talk with the Greybeards to see if we can't find out what this shout is. It has everyone up in arms. Here we are. That was quite the journey. Did I hear someone? Other than the three of us speaking? Hmm. Perhaps not. All right, let's get in here and see what we can learn. No, oh, it's come to my attention that Alduin wants to destroy this world, and I want to save it so that I can rule over it. That is definitely a conflict that we must Eliminate. Some Tavani like to create three-dimensional art using magic. You may wonder why they don't simply just carve something. On gear. Sky. Guard you. 
I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Why are you talking to me like that? Are you trying to frighten me? Because it's not working. Does it matter? Yes. For oh, matters of such really? gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Who I stand with is my business. If you wish to stand alone, so be it. If you wish for our help, you will answer my question. Well, aren't you? Hm. I don't know. Rude? Impertinent? Where did you learn of a shout used to defeat Alduin? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, apparently I am a tool, because they don't listen to me. But that's all right. They will pay dearly for their impertinence. Just as you shall, when the time comes. The Blades just want to defeat Alduin. What about you? What I want is irrelevant. <laughs> this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Interesting. But I can't have that. I've worked too hard. I've come too far. The pieces are in place for me to take over the world. So you're telling me that you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Who's that speaking? Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So, you can teach me this shout? No, I cannot no. teach it to you because I do not know it. Hmm. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. If the shout is lost, then how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Hmm. Then I need to speak to Parthenax immediately. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Excuse us, we're talking here. Thank you. And why haven't I met Parthenax? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Oh, well, thank you. Follow me. 
I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Sky above. Good. Voice within. I'm waiting to follow you. You know, I may be mortal now, but when I'm not, I'll remember the little things like this that annoyed me. Clear skies, huh? That shot seems like it would be very useful whenever that damn snowing starts. Interesting that you know what the shout is that he's about to teach me. It's quite a beautiful night, isn't it, Angia? Nothing like a nice stroll in the cold. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Yes, because clearly I couldn't get through that. Maelstrom. Lock. What? Ah. Core. Hmm, words of power strewn on the ground for me to absorb. <laughs> Please do your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. It's appreciated. <laughs> So much power. But only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. I appreciate all of your support this far. All of you, Greybeards. I thought it was hard enough living in High Hrothgar. What kind of man is able to live on top of the throat of the world? So you don't know everything, do you, Zelzaz? No one said that Parthenax was a man. Come on. All right. It's a bit dark. I think we need to bend time a little bit. <laughs> oh, just a small amount of the power that I've accumulated. Come on, let's go. Oh! There we are. Come on. I stunned myself with the power of that shout. something that my belly won't agree with, so I may suddenly excuse myself. Noted. The sh shout is... cooldown is longer than I anticipated. 
Poor goat didn't make it. Uh oh, ice wraith. Get it. I quite understand what the problem is. Oh, what? Let's continue. The question, though, is who summoned the Atronach? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to work on the cooldowns for these shouts. No! Zell's ass, come on. Well, this is certainly no... Hike in the park. You're dismissed. don't want to confront Parthenax and that he might think that the Atronach is an enemy that he must destroy. There go I am an yeah. enemy. No. Oh. Oh, there. Here we are, 
the throat of the world. Well, talk about a dramatic I entrance. My earlier statement, that is no man. Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Um, Who are you? What brings you to my Struma, my mountain? I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. What? I so have much spoken. power. The Rotmulag waits. And Zelzaz, don't stand between me and Parthenax again. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvak? Will you be patient? I'm Zavros, and I will not be rushed. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. And it will continue to wait. Until I'm ready. Now, what have we here? We're so high up. I can see Red Mountain from here. Understand fire as the Dove do. Oh, more power. <laughs> What you can do, greet me, not as Elf, but as Dova. Very well. Here. Come, no. Dova Keen. Nin ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? What I've asked from the very start. Can you teach me the dragon rend shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know that I came here for Dragon Rend? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Does anyone? It cannot be known to me. My patience is drawing to an end. Your kind. To a close. Your mortals created it as a weapon against the door. Perhaps I just came the here for tea. Our hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. 
<laughs> How can I learn the shout, then? Drem, all in good time. Time First, is of the essence. a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? <laughs> the short answer is... It's none of your business. Nid, if you wish me to answer your question, you must answer mine. <laughs> Very well. I am here, in this reality, to take control of the world. An Alduin is in my way. Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? This again? As I've told you, I am Zavros. I have come here to rule the world. At first, I thought I wanted to destroy it. When I heard that in another Skyrim that Parthenax, not Parthenax, but Alduin and I both had the same goals of destroying the world, but I've come to an epiphany that I don't want it destroyed. I want to rule it. So, as the Dragonborn, it falls upon me to stop him. Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? Oh no. I'm the one that's controlling fate here. You just don't realize it yet. But I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Thank Crosis. goodness. Now I will answer your question. It's about time. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Your question is misplaced. Ask instead, do I care? Now, you said you were going to answer my question. Drim, patience. I am answering. In my way. So I see. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim. Sokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon wren shout, I presume. Mm, yes and no. No. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the dragon wren shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. 
Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Clever. <laughs> so, are you saying that the ancient Nord sent Alderman forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. I see. You have quite the patience, then. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Ingenious. Dragonrend from those who created it. Ingenious. I don't care what they say about dragons, I'm impressed. So, the question now remains, do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Esben or Angia might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. And what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. And who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrothun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. And how could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. Perhaps. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. You mean 
You were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all dove felt the sundering of time itself. And what does the Dragon Wren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Interesting. And you're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I well, meditate on the Rotmula, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words. How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Well, why don't we start with Fus? It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Very good. So I wish to meditate on another word of power. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fine. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Very well. And can I meditate on the last word? Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. 
But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? There, thank you. Drem your look, greetings. Greetings and farewell. Look through. That has been a most enlightening conversation. All right. Come on, it's time for us to leave. We've been here nearly the entire day talking. Thank you.